I'm now joined in this telecast with a special guest. He's a former Israel's ambassador to the United Kingdom. He's also an advocate. He's been a lawyer earlier. Daniel Tom is joining me right now. Daniel, my first question is that, you know, when we talk about hostages, and I keep thinking of them, specifically of the children and babies, that Hamas also by itself has released videos of, these are clearly international norms that are being flouted. Can you tell us more about that, in, in which way this can go ahead for the hostages to return, specifically children? Um, it is really hard for me, Pooja, to get inside the, the minds of people that would attend a demonstration like that, not in support of the Palestinian people, but in support of terrorists. And I would really urge them you know, to look into the mirror or look at their children's faces and ask themselves, if you, if you truly believe that these acts, which are being done in the name of the Palestinian cause or in the name of, of your religion, if you can't see that these are a desecration of that cause and a desecration of that faith, then you really have a lot more thinking to do. You know, we're talking about, yes, of course, children here, hostages, but at a time like this, we also see cases of anti-Semitism that are on, also on the rise. We see posters being pulled down of, of that could have spread more awareness about these hostages. And that seems to have clearly, you know, that, that's also come as a shock. Do tell us what, how can that be now taken ahead from here? So, so this is not a war that we wanted. We didn't start it, but we are going to finish it. If you remember, Pujo, we pulled out of Gaza 18 years ago. We pulled 8,000 civilians. We left entirely, completely. We only left behind the greenhouses so that the Palestinians could have some, some agriculture and industry to work with. Hamas took over, brutalized the regime, smashed the greenhouses, and has since then has been using this territory to, to launch repeated attacks against Israel. We have had five rounds of violence, and in every case, we have, we have stopped when, uh, because of the concerns for, for escalation, because of the concerns of, of civilian casualties and so on. But this time, even while we have those concerns, even while we're doing everything we can to protect civilians, to urge them to leave their places of conflict, this time we've realized that it's simply not feasible for the people of Israel to live side by side with an Iranian-sponsored, fortified terrorist regime. That cannot be allowed to continue. So this time, it really has to be uprooted. And only if that happens, will there be a possibility of a safer future for Israel and a better future for the Palestinians that Hamas has taken hostage. I appreciate you, Daniel, for joining us and telling us more about what exactly is unfolding at a time like this.